quite a key component with Squarespace sites and websites in general is adding social media to the website, whether that be an Instagram block that shows the latest posts or whether it be social media icons directing to yours or your clients' social media profiles. So I wanna show you exactly how to actually add them in because again, with a fair few things on Squarespace, it's not immediately obvious how you put those in, especially with the new change that Squarespace has rolled out to the backend editor, things get a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna try and do it in under 43 seconds. So the first thing that we wanna do is go into settings. And then in settings, we want to scroll down to social links. In social links, we'll find all of our social media here. So I'm going to get rid of these. So it's a good way to show you how to delete them. You click and you can remove. And then you can also move them about. So if we look here, we've got a social media block added in. And we can actually change what the order is. So if I drag Facebook down here, you can see Facebook is now second. If we want to change it, we just click on it. We can change the URL. We don't have to show the icon if we don't want, like so. So we can have it in, but we can hide it. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can do it. Click to show again, but I'm going to remove. So just remove all these. And then to actually add one in, we're going to click in here. And then we're going to put Instagram.com. And it already shows Instagram's icon here. So it will automatically detect the icon. And then forward slash, and then whatever your social media handle is. So... Mine's SJ Crawford, like so, click enter and it's there. Click and you can say show or don't show the social media icon. You can change the URL in here and then you can remove, save, or if you're happy, just cancel. And then you can repeat that for Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or I mean, it's X now. I don't actually think they've updated it for X yet, but you can still put Twitter in, twitter.com. You can see it has twitter.com and the old Twitter logo. Let's say I try and do x.com. Yeah, it's just got the link. So x isn't on Squarespace yet. I'm sure they'll update that at some point. But anyway, that's how you do it. If you want to maneuver them about, you can do so. And it's as simple as that. So if you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.